Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I am late, but I am finally back with my 2019 beauty slash skincare favorites. So I'm gonna start with hair care for my natural hair, and we'll see where the list takes me from there. I've got a ton of stuff here in front of me, and I'm gonna try to clear my space so that I don't duplicate uh, talking about items. So the first category again is hair. And the first product is the Briojo Don't Despair Deep Conditioning Mask. I use this for every single uh, condition, every single deep condition, every time I'm under the steamer. My hair loves this. It has my curls popping. It leaves my hair extremely hydrated. I absolutely love this product and was able to stock up on it uh, during the holiday, um, say a post post Christmas sale on Sephora. The next two items you have seen on my channel before as well. They are both from Kemetic Biologics. One is the Olive and Honey Hydrating Balm. And I like this on uh, dry hair when I need a little moisture boost. And it is phenomenal. It hydrates, it softens, but I only use this typically on dry hair. I have used it on wet, but I prefer it on dry hair. And then the Burdock Root Buttercream, um, which is the moisturized formula. I have used this on both wet and dry hair. It makes detangling my wet hair so much easier. I love this stuff and have it on backup. The next item for me is the one and only fragrance that has become my go-to, my signature scent, my um, all occasion, works for anything, uh, works for any mood, and it is from Nest Fragrances. It is the Dahlia and Vines. And it looks like this. I have a rollerball in my purse. I have a rollerball in my travel bag. I have a, a travel size in my travel on. And I have a full size on my vanity. This is the most ladylike fragrance from the brand, in my opinion. I have picked up another um, fragrance from them, their newest one, which I think is called Sun-Kissed Hibiscus, and I really like that one. It's a nice day fragrance. I haven't hauled it yet, so that's coming, but this is absolutely amazing. Um, the Midnight Fleur, the Cocoa, Cocoa Woods, um, some of those others, Wild Poppy, I've not been able to use any of those, and quite honestly, some of them just don't smell that great. Um, but this one is amazing, and I've actually turned a couple of my tribe sisters on to this one as well that were struggling trying to find a fragrance from scent, um, a fragrance from Ness that they enjoyed. All right, the next item for me is um, let's just kind of do complexion stuff first, which is not gonna be a whole lot or maybe just the makeup stuff so the first thing is the better than sex mascara from Too Faced this mascara is my go-to day night work weekend full face of makeup nothing on at all this works I love the formula I love the wand I love the fact that it um, defines and gives me length and actually makes me look like I have eyelashes. I will continue to buy this one over and over again. And this was the most purchased and the most used mascara um, of all the ones that I tried in 2019. The next item is one of the match sticks from Fenty Beauty. And this one is in the color walnut um i've got a 
a backup or a replacement um, upstairs on my vanity, but I love this. These were kind of um, like introduced as more like highlight and contour sticks, but I never found a color in the Fenty foundation that actually matched me. And this one matches perfectly. So what I do is I apply a couple of dabs across my face then I spray with another favorite, which is the MAC Prime, uh, Prep and Prime. This is the coconut water formula that was this past summer or maybe summer before last. But I love the Fix Plus and it gives this just enough movement so that I'm able to smooth it out for a seamless complexion. So these two go hand in hand. Absolutely love the finish, love the coverage love the smell of this and can use this on any foundation to like dampen the brush if that's what i want to do um so that i'm using a little bit less product and a little bit more give to the actual formula as i'm applying it the next foundation is actually more of a tinted moisturizer um, and it has a uh, 30 SPF 30 in it and it is from NARS. It's their pure radiant tinted moisturizer pure radiant tinted moisturizer and this is in the color Malaga and it's medium dark one. This is perfect year round. I've found that I don't need a, I, I don't like like full coverage foundations i like being able for my skin to breathe and be able to peek through and so that you can see um the the you know flaws and so forth it's just a little bit more polished um it's time for me to um secure a backup of this one because i think um it feels like i'm about here so this only has a few more uses in it but i absolutely love this and again this is from nars the next item is none other than the silk canvas from tatcha i use this as a base as a primer as um a way to even out my canvas before i'm applying applying a tinted moisturizer before i'm doing just powder or more or um a full found um foundation this stuff is amazing. I did finish one this year, so I'm in my backup now, and I already have one in my Sephora cart because this will last me for a few months so that during the spring VIB sale, I can replace um, or, you know, stock up on another backup of this one. The next two products are what I will call um, finishers or toppers. The first one is uh, Finishing Powder by Becca. This is the Soft Light Blurring Powder. I love this. It is, um, it has just a little bit of like a golden peachy tint. It is extremely finely milled, provides an even canvas, a little bit of luster, um, to my complexion when I apply it. It doesn't settle in my smile lines and it works on any foundation or any tinted moisturizer. It's great as a setting powder for under my eyes. I have just loved this. And this will last me forever because I only use a tiny bit and it's still, well, now that I've shaken it up, it's still pretty full. You can see it's still pretty full. And the... Uh, last item is my makeup setting spray. You have seen this hauled and emptied and reviewed and hauled it, but how was it? It is the Bosha White Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. Um, until I found this formula, it was I was virtually exclusive. Um, with Urban Decay setting uh, products, but this stuff is amazing. I can use it as a primer, um, but I love it as a finishing spray, as a setting spray. The next thing is my Clinique Pep Start 
SPF 50. So you can do all of the skincare, all of the prep work. You can you can do all of that stuff. But if you are not using SPF daily, you've heard this over and over and over again on my channel, then you are literally just wasting your money. Um, so this is one of two SPFs, facial SPFs that I used in 2019. And over and over again, I... I uh, purchased this one, traveled with it, kept it on my vanity, kept it in the bathroom, used it over and over again, and I uh, am continuing to use it in 2020. This one is almost empty, and I actually already have two more backups, one for the vanity, one for my travel bag. All righty then. Let's talk about my... Um, it, it wasn't frequently used in 2019, but it is the only thing that I use. And the reason it was free, not frequently used is because my skin has done a much better job of behaving. But it is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. If you have acne-prone skin, especially if you have acne-prone skin that is subject to dark marks, you know, like from popping or just from eruptions. This really helps to keep breakouts at bay. And by that, I mean, if you have something that has popped up or where you can kind of feel it brewing underneath the skin, take a, a cotton bud or a Q-tip, dip down into the bi-layer solution so that you pick up a little bit of um the sulfur and a little bit of the camphor and then apply it i would recommend doing it at night because it is a light pink um solution when you apply it but this shrinks diminishes gets rid of uh breakouts overnight i've got my nephew using this uh i keep it one in my vanity on my vanity and one in my travel bag because you just never you never know when something's gonna get unruly um you do not shake this you do want it settled when you use it so that the solution is separated um but if it has jumbled itself during transit it will kind of turn a pink milky color and then um, once it has sat for a while, it will actually separate out. So even if you see it this way, don't throw it away. Let it get some place and settle and it will uh, sink again and um, have the two layers. All right. Two, um, what I'm going to call body care products for the year. One is my Nivea Nourishing Body Oil. It, you know that I mix this stuff with lotion, with creams, with oils, with everything. It is amazing to help boost hydration. This is the avocado and macadamia oil. I can only find this now on Amazon and the price of it is ridiculous. So even though it was a fave for 2019, I'm going to have to see how long my stockpile lasts in 2020 um, because I may have to start looking for something else because this is becoming extremely expensive and very scarce even on Amazon. The next item, um, and this is a new one, um, it is an exfoliating body washcloth. It is for exfoliating and cleansing. I shower with these every day. I travel with them. I absolutely love them. So while you're exfoliating, you know, every other part of your body, your face, your back, your feet, your body needs to be exfoliated as well so that the cells and the healthy skin can always stay at the top and radiant. And I love these. I figured I'd show you this one as opposed to any of the ones that have uh, been used and laundered. Uh, okay, two beauty tools. The first beauty tool that I will not be caught without is a 
Dermaplane device. And this one is actually the Hummingbird from Derma Flash. And I love it. This thing um, is a game changer. And by thing, I mean, this one is mine, but you can derma plane with different kinds of razors, different kinds of exfoliator devices that have a blade in them. But I cannot see myself being without derma planing going forward. This was an absolute game changer for me. Um, smoother, more radiant complexion. Um, I I just felt like my my overall skin texture was improved. When I got compliments, I could tell that people were actually complimenting me, my skin, my complexion, um, without having this haze of um, peach fuzz or these layers of dead skin on the top. So this was amazing. And the next is Derma Roller. Um, these two things, I alternate um, weeks. I don't uh, derma plane and then derma roll. Afterwards, I do them at least a week apart because my skin is pretty sensitive um, after both of them, depending on how aggressive I've been in the use of the tools. But derma rolling or micro micro needling is this um you do it with a little tool that has a ton of little needles on the head and i'm not going to touch mine because it's already been sanitized but it has a ton of little needles on this roller and as i glide it over my skin it creates micro injuries to my skin and these micro injuries do a couple of different things they create these little channels all over my face little holes that allow nutrients and vitamin c and skincare you know my essences and all of those things um, to penetrate a little bit deeper than sitting on the top of the skin it also tells um, my skin uh, that there is an injury which activates the production of collagen and cell renewal to improve or to repair that area. So if you go back and watch any of my videos like back earlier last year before I really got into a good rhythm of, um, you know, the derma rolling, my smile lines were a lot, lot deeper. But I have pretty aggressively um, derma rolled in those areas to cause those injuries that have actually um, allowed for collagen production to return to that area that has helped to minimize my lines. And I don't have anything on my face right now other than skincare. Um, and I love it. Now, you do not derma roll on dry skin and you do not derma flash or derma plane on dry skin. So when I am derma planing, I did not like the formula that came with the derma flash device. Their step one was extremely drying um, to my skin. So I actually use another favorite um, which is from Philosophy, the Purity Made Simple One Step Facial Cleanser. I use this as kind of my prep step and to provide um, like almost like a shave cream gel, some slip to my skin so that the blade actually glides seamlessly. It also helps from a cleansing standpoint. It's almost like a little deep mask treatment because I'll damp my face, um, put a pump, and then spread it on, and it'll kind of, you know, foam up just a little bit, and I use that for the glide here. This is also just kind of a staple. I have drastically uh, ventured out into other brands, but I still keep the purity in 
my arsenal. It is a go-to. Um, so yeah, that that's there. The next item is, and I've got a bag over here that I'm stacking things back in so that I can haul it all back up to my vanity. As I um, stated, don't micro needle or derma roll on dry skin. I have used an oil and I've chosen to use a clean oil. So um, when you go on the Sephora site and you're looking for products that are clean, uh, Tatcha um, is on there. And I've decided that for this step, this is my pre-step. So on clean, uh, dry skin, I apply the Tatcha Gold Camellia Beauty Oil. Um, not any, not too heavy. Uh, I'm not looking for it to all soak in because I want to have a little bit of glide um, as I am rolling so that uh, I don't cause trauma and more damage to my skin by rolling on dry skin. So these two things go together for me. I do use the oil separately, but this has become my dynamic duo the same way the philosophy goes with dermaplaning. All right, so my next two items are in the same category and we are going to just call them toners. Uh, one is from Mario Badescu, and it is the glycolic acid toner. It is amazing, and you can tell I've got a big bottle of it, and I've used quite a bit. I did have a smaller bottle. I finished it, and it was time to open this one. I have enjoyed the fact that this specifically focuses on softening your complexion, um, by reducing fine lines and wrinkles. If you've been on my channel for any period of time, you know that um, about 18 to 24 months ago, I literally declared war on my fine lines and wrinkles, and this has really helped. I also noticed that um, for blemishes that I had in my face, that this really was helping from an acid standpoint to cause the, you know, the skin to peel a little bit quicker um, by eating up those top dead layers so that the spots are diminished. And then the second one is the Fresh Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I like this one because um, it functions as a toner. It also can function as an essence depending on how you apply it. So if it's on a cotton pad and you're wiping it over a uh, freshly washed face, then it acts as a toner. But if you've done the same thing and toned and need some hydration, you can put a few drops of this in the palm of your hand, warm it up just a little bit, and then pat it by pressing it into the skin for extra hydration. So not only does it hydrate, but it will reset the pH of your skin after you have had water on your skin, which of course disrupts the pH of our skin every single time we have water on our faces. The next um, category are lip products. I um, have been trying to really decide what my favorite lip scrub is. I have not figured that out yet. So I skipped that one, but I have two lip products. One is by Neosporin. It has been featured on my channel over and over again, and it is the Overnight Renewal Lip Therapy. If you think about dry, cracked lips, it's the same thing as getting a cut on your hand because that's exactly what it is. And the same way Neosporin for your skin antiseptic and healing properties for cuts the overnight um, renewal therapy for your lips it does the same thing so instead of having to apply um, lip balm or lip chap or whatever over and over and over again I use this at night to help heal 
that condition so that whatever I put on my lips um, is better and it works because I'm not fighting at that point the root cause of dry cracked lips. This also, I've only been able to find it at Amazon and I usually order like six at the time when I purchase them. The next is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And this one is, I think, the original. Um, I don't know if the name is printed on here. But I love this. I love the smell of it. I love the feel of it. I love the fact that it hydrates. There's a shine to my lips when this is applied. It only takes a little bit. This big container, and I know it's not, you know, big compared to like a face moisturizer, but for a lip product, um, it is 20 grams or 0.7 ounces. This has lasted me for a long time. And I typically use it at night, and I use it on the nights when I don't need the Neosporin. All right, the next item is another oil and it's a fresh product and I'm just realizing I do have quite a few fresh products in my favorites for this year but that's nothing wrong with that I've talked about them before on my channel this is the fresh sea berry moisturizing facial oil it is packed with sea buckthorn um, omegas three six seven and nine it is a hydrating formula one to two drops on my face one to two drops in my moisturizer this makes a difference and helps to hold in moisture on my skin this has been purchased I've lost count of how many of these bottles I have gone through and although I have oil from Tatcha although I have oil from Elemis um, I just know that I will continue to keep this one stockpile because it has really worked and I like the hydration. It kind of gives a barrier <coughs> between the, the dry air, the cold air, and my skin so that it doesn't get so dehydrated. The next is from Tatcha and this is the Dewy Skin Night Concentrate. This stuff will have your skin plump and soft and hydrated and glowy and dewy and amazing and I absolutely love it. And if those descriptors have not convinced you that you need the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Overnight Concentrate, then your skin just deserves whatever it looks like in the morning. All right, vitamin C products. I like this one from Philosophy. It's the Turbo Booster C Powder. It comes with a tiny little long scoop. The scoop is upstairs. But I love this formula because, one, it's a stable vitamin C, so I don't have to worry about it quickly expiring. The other thing is I can supercharge and add vitamin C to any skincare product just by taking a full scoop or partial scoop and taking the powder adding it into you know the the concentrate or the oil or the moisturizer or whatever I want to use it in and insert so to speak or add vitamin C to it vitamin C helps to fight off um you know environmentals aggressors that are harsh on the skin and if you think about what happens when you apply like um, an acid or like a lemon or something on fruit that is in essence what vitamin C does for our skin so use it every day during the day along with the sunscreen and can add it in any product the next um, product is also uh, in the 
acid category and I'm gonna kind of cover these together so this one's gonna look a wretched mess but it is the Peter Thomas raw anti-aging cleansing gel this is my cleanser before any jar mask I just feel like it is going to help me get a, a, a really smooth cleansed slate it has AHAs and BHAs in it. It just, I just feel like it gives my sheet mask an opportunity to do what they're supposed to do because they're not fighting to get to the skin because I have properly cleansed it and prepped the skin for receiving whatever that boost is that I'm trying to add with the mask. So I'm not a huge fan of Peter Thomas Raw. Those of you that I've had skincare conversations with, you know that I'm I'm not a big fan. And typically when I get their products, I end up giving it to my sister if it has anything in it. But this is an actual product that I have purchased over and over and over again. It stays, um, you know, sink side, shower side, so that it is my prep step. The... Next item is my Drunk Elephant TLC Frambuse Glycolic Night Serum. It has a 12% AHA and BHA blend, and this stuff is amazing. I um, was a little skeptical over the brand, over the price, but I got over that, and ever since then, Drunk Elephant, summer, spring, winter, fall, has had a place in my skincare routine. This, how can I describe, if, if you are familiar with the um, 80s video game Pac-Man or Mrs. Pac-Man, this is in essence what the glycolic acid does overnight. It just eats up um all of your fine lines, your wrinkles, the top dead layer of skin so that when you wake up in the morning, everything is smooth and radiant and it is like magic in a bottle. It is pretty expensive, um, but it is absolutely glorious. And to pair this and this together so that this is kind of working underneath and this is kind of holding it down absolutely amazing combination but also great with an oil the next is the one and only jar mask that has been purchased over and over and over again used over and over again the mask that i believe has helped my hyperpigmentation stay at bay. It's also a fresh mask, and you've seen it here before. It is the Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. And this one is about half gone. No worries. I already have a backup. This mask kind of feels and smells like citrus, and it has a consistency of like baby food, like a little... Not completely smooth, but like little chunky baby food. And it just brightens your complexion. And it has tons and tons of um, vitamin C brightening properties to it. I, I love it and will continue to use it over and over and over again until... Fresh or some other brand convinces me that they have something better. This just works. The next is a facial scrub or an exfoliator, a daily exfoliator. And it's another fresh product. And this is not a sponsored, you know, video. All of the products seen here I have purchased with my own hard-earned money. But I guess there are just certain brands that perform for me from a skincare standpoint. I started using this fresh strawberry exfoliating facial wash. I took it to 
um, Mexico with me and used it every day also while I was there. So this one kind of was late in the game. I purchased this over a year ago, almost two years ago, and it sat in a Sephora bag and I hauled that stuff the end of 2019. I started using this and it immediately moved into my shower and I was using it every single morning and right now I've it's not quite halfway but I've used that much of it this is amazing for a daily scrub for a smooth fresh canvas um, for vitamin C, for exfoliation, for a little bit of brightening, for a little bit of hydration. Has a great smell. They do, this is the uh, 4.2 fluid ounce. They do have a travel size or a small size. So if you're leery about a daily scrub, then I would say start with the smaller one, but you'll quickly end up going back to get the full size. This stuff rocks. It is amazing. Um, the next three products are Tatcha products, and they are the Pure One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil, which is great for makeup removal, great on my uh, skincare days when I'm gonna, you know, do masks and all that other stuff. It is great as a pre-cleanse before I use the Polish Classic Enzyme Rice Powder. Um, these two work like superheroes together. So they both are water activated. But what I often do is put a little bit of the rice enzyme powder in a bowl or in my hand and then add the camellia oil and get like a really good um, mix between the two and then apply that on the face do a little bit of gentle exfoliation with the rice powder and then add water and let the both of them work together. Love this. That combination is always what I do before using a Tatcha face mask or an eye mask. The next Tatcha product is one that I didn't even know that I needed and I have been using um, for two years I think now and it was in a favorites for last year or the best stuff for last year and it is the essence this is like supercharged vitamins nutrients hydration for your face this is the kind of thing that after you have derma rolled you want to generously apply to your skin to help keep those little channels open flood them with hydration so that those under layers of skin stay, um, get hydrated and super hydrated and get nutrients and vitamins. But also so that as you are using your other skincare items, particularly your vitamin C products, that they can penetrate a little bit deeper. And the essence is what allows them to do that. Not to mention after toning and wanting to add some more hydration back to your skin, this is absolutely amazing um, it has micronutrients it softens it plumpens it hydrates it allows for any other product that you are using to penetrate deeper which means you're basically just getting um, more of your money's worth because it is getting deeper into the skin last three products this one was late in the game i did not purchase this until late 2019 but it managed to creep its way into the best of 2019. And it's Dr. Jart. It's the um, liquid ceramidin. And this stuff is just a, it's a super hydrator. It creates, um, it creates this barrier that locks your moisture in so that you can you get longer benefits from those hydration products so if you have skin that is dry that is tight 
um, that you feel is not retaining moisture, then I would recommend picking up the Ceramidin liquid. Use it as a serum. Um, this stuff is designed, if my memory has me correctly, that it's supposed to hold moisture in your skin up to 36 hours. So it will give anything that you, is underneath um, much, much, much longer runway for it to work and hydrate because this is going to fight off everything that's going to cause your skin to dry out um, and to, you know, start looking dull and lackluster. It's going to provide that seal. The next item represents an actual category, not specific to um, this particular brand, but it is sheet mask. Um, sheet mask, Dr. Jart, Bosha, Tatcha, Sephora. I'm just thinking about some of the brands that I have gone to over and over and over again. This is just a complete category um, for me. Very popular for me in 18, continued in 19. And I can tell you, I already have some empties for the first quarter of 2020 um, because these are amazing, especially, especially uh, being able to use some of the Nurse Jamie products, especially being able to incorporate some of Lemieux's products so that I can get even more runway out of my sheet mask. And... The very last item, not uh, to be considered least in any way, is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Peels. And this is the extra strength, and these can be used daily. I do not use them daily. You have heard me talk about three-day boot camp, so I will use this two-step peel process uh, three days at a time. I can see the most um, significant improvement in my skin when I compress my usage. I try not to use them, though, no more than five days at a time if I'm um, really needing, you know, an extra boost. But these are easy to travel with. This is a new box because I finished my last one. But it is two steps. You apply step one and basically it does the exfoliating. I've got a lot of exfoliating products for this year. Um, you leave it on for two minutes and then you follow back up with step two, which is another pad that has a neutralizer so that the acids can kind of stop, um, you know, stop, uh, stop eating stuff up and, and go back to normal it helps your skin to get back to the right ph easy to travel with immediate results i would say um if you have sensitive skin they do have a a, a mild version i started with the mild or the original version and after seeing the results i felt that my skin could take the extra um, strength and it does but that's also the reason that I try to use it in short windows maximize the benefits give my skin a break from it before um, I go back to it these are great if you have oily skin or imperfections uneven tone or texture wrinkles or enlarged pores it will give you blank balanced clear bright smooth and immediate radiance and it absolutely does that. One of the best and quick um, results for a daily exfoliator. So that's all I have. These, I mean, I don't think that I had a lot. I know this was a pretty long video, but um, from a category standpoint, these are the things that over and over and over again I use, I purchase, or I noticed that when I wasn't using them, my skin said, I don't like that, go back and get it. So these are the products that you'll likely see more of, particularly in my empties and my hauls throughout the rest of 2020. So thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, 
I do hope that um, you have some amazing products that you have enjoyed this year. If there's anything that you saw in this video today that you too are using, uh, let me know your thoughts down below. If there are products that you used all throughout 2019 that you thought should have been listed here, drop them down below. I'm always on the hunt for new products to give a try. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, take care.